these will target U.S. ships with new hypersonic missiles. The Yemeni militia targeted the USS Dwight Eisenhower, Dimitz class supercarrier, in the Red Sea last week amid the continued intensification of American and British air and missile strikes inside Yemen. The Houthis will hit the American aircraft carrier parked in Yemen's backyard harder next time around, militia leader Abdul Malik Al Houthi has vowed. The American aircraft carrier Eisenhower will remain a target for our armed forces whenever the opportunity arises, Al Houthi said in his address. The facts will become clear no matter how much the Americans try to deny the targeted operations and the upcoming strikes will be more effective. Al Houthi added, offering new details on last week's Houthi missile and drone barrage targeting the USS Eisenhower amid American denials that the operation did any damage to the supercarrier or its escorts, the Houthi leader emphasized that the attack was more successful than Washington is letting on. The operation targeting the aircraft carrier Eisenhower was successful and overflights stopped for two days following the attack, Al Houthi said, referring to American attacks over Yemeni airspace. The official added that while the U.S. warship was situated about 400 kilometers from Yemen before the Houthi attack, it was forced to sail 480 kilometers northwest to safety in its aftermath. The operation was one of the most notable and important operations to be carried out this week. Al Houthi said, American warships flee and change their source when the operations are successful, the militia leader said. U.S. Central Command vociferously denied Houthi claims that the U.S. Eisenhower was damaged in the Yemeni militia's attacks. Al Houthi's comments come after the Yemeni militia released footage of a new locally made hypersonic missile called the Palestine being launched toward the embattled Israeli Red Sea port city of Elat. Israeli officials confirmed that Elat had been targeted but indicated that there was no damage or injuries to report, the new Yemeni solid fuel missile's warhead was painted in a checkered pattern reminiscent of a kefir scarf. Western observers spotted outward similarities to the Fatah, an Iranian hypersonic missile unveiled in 2023, which can travel up to 1,400 kilometers at speeds of up to Mach 15. The range and speed characteristics of the Houthi missile remain unknown, but the distance between Houthi-controlled areas of Yemen and Ilat is closer to 1,700 kilometers.